Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about subsets of a line. Last time, we have uploaded a video about the undefined terms in geometry. And basically, you can visit it here or you can watch it here. So I hope now mapanood niyo ating video on how to describe point, line, and plane under undefined terms in geometry. So basically, this topic is under geometry pa rin. And when we say subset, in definition, a subset is a set made up of components of another set. There will be two subcategories such as line, segments, and rays. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. Now, what are the two subsets of a line? So, the first one is yung tinatawag nating line segments or yung basically seg segments. A line segment is a piece of a line that has two distinct endpoints. So, it has two distinct endpoints. So, for the first example, I have here line AB. We have line... A, B. So inside this line, we have a single subset. Ang subset natin again, a line segment is a piece of a line that has two endpoints. So basically, we have here this line. Kung mapansin nyo, we have line A, B, and we have two points on line A, B. As you can see, we have two points. So the segment here is this part of the line starting from point A to point B. So to name that segment inside line AB that is called segment AB or simply like this one. So what if I will name that as segment BA? Is it acceptable or are they the same? Yes, parehas lang po sila. So Either of the two is considered as a segment. We have segment AB or segment B. Again, they are just the same. So let's move on with item number two or for the second example. In identifying and naming a segment, we have here this line. And as you can see, we have four different points within that line. So basically, we will name the segments inside this line. So the first one for me, we have, I will focus on point E and point D. And this is your first segment. You have segment DE. Next, focus tayo sa point D and point F. You have segment DF. Again, if your segment is DF, that is just, that is just the same as FD. Next segment, focus tayo sa point D and point G. And that is segment DG. For the next segment, let's focus with E and F. We have segment EF. Next segment is that we have to focus on point E and G, we have segment EG. We have segment EG. And lastly, focus tayo sa F, we have segment FG. These are the segments inside that line, segment FG. So you hope na sa first basic subset of a line natin, ay naintindihan nyo kung paano i-define ito at kung paano ma-identify yung different segments on a line. Again, when you say segment, it is a piece of a line that has two distinct endpoints. So, in the next part of our video, we will talk about the next subset of a line. So, here it is, rays. Rays or ray is the second subset of a line and to define ray, Array is an 
is essentially a hybrid between a line and a line segment. So when you say hybrid, it is a combination of a line and line segment. Array has exactly one endpoint and extends indefinitely in the other direction. So basically guys, this one is the symbol for Ray. This one is a symbol for Ray. Sometimes they're putting point here, but it's not necessary. That is a symbol for Ray. So within this line, we can identify different rays. So let's start or, or let's focus first on a single point. Let's focus on point A. As you can see, we can name a ray from point A at, up to P. So basically, imagine you, you, you have this kind of an, uh, symbol. So we can name the first ray as ray AP. Let's put some symbol here. Okay, ray AP. Again, let's focus on point B. We're in a point A, we're in when you extend this up to this, it will give you the next ray, which is ray A B. So next thing that going is to focus on point P. For point P, we can create a ray. which is from this point up to this point, and from this point up to this point. So basically, we have two rays if the first endpoint is P. So we have ray PB and ray PA. So... Sir, how about point B? If you focus on point B, can we get or can we name a ray? Yes. Sir, we will be using, so for example, we have this one. From this point up to this point, that is BP. Sir, meron na po tayong PB. Di ba parehas lang po sila? No. Definitely, they are different. Because the end point of PB is P and the end point of B or, or BP is B. So they are different. So for the next ray, focusing on the end point of B, I start here up to here. So you can have ray BP. So, sorry, that is BA. So I hope na sa first, sa mga examples natin within the subsets of a line, we have the line segment or segment and race, you already know how to name a segment, how to identify a segment within a line, and you know you already know how to, or you also know how to name a ray within a line. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Garn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!